something that we have to be concerned about. So this isn't just a, a landlord issue. This is a this is an issue that is community wide. We have to respect that, and uh, and certainly make make our voices known with respect to how this is going to play out in the community. So we can't let that message go. That message has to be loud. It has to be clear. And we have to keep saying it, keep reminding people. This isn't about landlords versus tenants. This is about making sure that people have homes that they can afford that are uh, that are appropriate for their needs. That's what the goal is here. It's not about picking sides of any issue. And sometimes when you get involved with landlord and tenant issues, people want you to take sides. This isn't about taking sides. This is about doing what's right for the community. So we have to make sure that what we're doing here, what we're talking about, we propose reasonable solutions to these, these, these items. And the result is true. I mean, we, I've heard from, from tenants as well who are concerned about the affordability aspect of housing in, in, in this community. Uh, and what happens when fees are added to landlords' bills and, and roadblocks are put in place and they have to deal with extra red tape, obviously the rents are going to go up. And so that ha is a concern for tenants. This is a, ultimately a community issue. Now, over the last uh, number of months, particularly when we were sitting at Queen's Park, I was uh, pleased to bring forward a petition on your behalf uh, at Queen's Park to, uh, to raise the issue, and I continue to do that. There's, uh, I continue to have stacks and stacks of folks that continue to send me those uh, petitions. I probably have a well over a thousand petitions that have submitted already on behalf of landlords across the province of Ontario. Uh, and I actually do mention the ridings where I'm getting these petitions from, not solely from Cambridge. When they're in the Premier's riding, I'll say this is a group of people from the beautiful riding of Ottawa South, which is the Premier's riding. And I read the petition, hoping that he understands what's going on. I think we have to continue to do that. This isn't something that's going to be solved overnight. Certainly it's uh, an issue that also affects the municipality, and the municipalities uh, often struggle with uh, with funds, uh, that's a real problem. And, uh, but I think that the heart of this isn't about uh, simply who's going to pay for what bill. Uh, this is about people taking personal responsibility for their actions. If they're consuming a utility, if they're consuming water, they should be paying for that. And I think that that's the, at the heart of what we're trying to do. So we continue to bring this forward. I know I've talked to my PC housing critic, uh, Steve Clark, uh, who's uh, also uh, who's, uh, who's going to AMO next week, the Association of Municipalities of Ontario. And I showed him the petition. I told him that, uh, you know, this is something that I'm going to be speaking to you tonight. And he promised me that he was going to give the president of AMO that petition to uh, and, and, and try and get a response from AMO themselves. So I think that's the next step where we're going with this. We continue to raise awareness. I'm glad that uh, you all took some time out of your summer to come out tonight to listen to folks who are very concerned about this issue. I'm happy to, to lend my ear and lend my support to what you're doing. I applaud the work that this community group is doing. Uh, it's great to see this. It's, it's, it's one thing for a politician to stand up and tell you that this is what we should be doing. It's a totally different thing when we have a group of people, a group of citizens right here in this community who are raising concerns that matter not just only to landlords, but the entire community as a whole. So thank you very much for having me. I'm happy to be here. If you have any questions afterward, I'll be around. Thank you.